Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Get Familiar With. Today I will show to you the endomat, uh, the Amu endomat in the, the two versions. The original one uh, um, presented in uh, 1990, the, this one, and the, uh, the recent uh, uh, update, uh, restyling, uh, as you prefer, um, here below. The uh, Amu Endomat has been ideated by Jacques Amu uh, to be the perfect companion of, of the uh, 26 French resetoscope that you see here in front of me. Um, the, the original idea was to have an instrument able to uh, balance and, and keep the perfect uh, intrauterine pressure controlling itself, the irrigation and the aspiration. Instead of using the compressive cuff, the gravity pressure or any other mechanical uh, uh, methods. So you see the difference between the two instruments. It's uh, uh, relate most of the part to the absence of the screen or the presence of the screen in the new version instead of these uh, uh, three bars, uh, three uh, LED bars uh, showing the um, three different uh, parameters. Uh, in the new version it's also changed the connection of the uh, rolling pump here. Uh, it's more uh, update and you will see later when I will show you the connection with the, with the uh, silicon tubes uh, the uh, difference. Here obviously it's much easier to connect uh, the uh, tubing set than in the original version. In both the versions is still uh, present uh, the uh, aspiration uh, connector here in order to create uh, the uh, aspiration flow. Uh, there is a pump inside who aspirate the air through this connector and create a vacuum insi in inside uh, a, uh, a tank. Originally there was a glass tank uh, sealed and then uh, later on has been substituted by the normal recepta uh, uh, tanks we have in the operatory uh, theater. So this motor, this engine ab uh, aspirate air from the recepta and therefore create a vacuum into the recepta. And the vacuum uh, create a aspiration from the, uh, from the recetoscope. Uh, both the instruments, they work with the same concept. So the uh, pressure, it's, uh, uh, it's calculated by uh, resistance, as a resistance of the fluid to pass through the, uh, the silicon tubes. Here you see there is uh, a, uh, this device, it's nothing else, this, uh, a pressure sensor here, and here has been substituted by these two located in the lower part. So the machine reads the resistance of the fluid to pass through the silicon tubes and this is read as, uh, uh, as a pressure inside the uterine cavity. And now let's have a look to the rear panel of the endomat, the classic one and the revised version. Uh, they look pretty similar, they have uh, the electrical connectors, uh, both of them uh, with the fuse area, the neutral uh, connectors over here, the SCB uh, uh, serial connector, the in and the out on both sides. The only difference is the new version presents these two uh, closed area, or uh, not accessible area, where uh, um, it's present an USB connector and an RS-232 connectors. This is for internal use, particularly, for example, for the upgrade uh, of the firmware. Um, the old pump, the classic endomat, present here a connector, a DIN connector, uh, for the pedal. The pedal was used uh, at the beginning of the, uh, of the uh, presentation of the pump uh, to control, uh, remotely control by the operator, the uh, start of the pump. Therefore, as has been realized that it was not any more useful, so today it's even difficult to find a replacement or to find a new pedal for the old, uh, for the old endomat. Both the version, the old one and the new one, they have uh, a characteristic 
uh, that it's related to the fact that they can be used also in laparoscopy thanks to a dedicated tubing set that change the parameters uh, of the pump uh, and not only in uh, 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 during a receptoscopy. So uh, therefore they can be used instead of an external irrigation and aspiration system during laparoscopy, only changing the tubing set. So in this new video, you have seen the two versions of the AMU Endomat, the classic one and the revised one, actually the only one on the market. This has been probably useful for you to understand how the endomat, the principle, how the endomat works. And uh, I uh, invite you to watch the next video uh, where I will explain in details the original version that's still uh, the most uh, uh, solid one uh, and the most present one in the market, as well as the actual one, the only one you can buy uh, today. So see you on the next video. Thank you.